politics. It's always the fucking politics. It's the cancer of our scene. People buy a ticket to see a concert and to see a live band play, to listen to live music. I would say if you want to have a debate, you want to disagree about politics, you know, go to a debate. Don't go to a fucking concert, you know. That's fucking, that's my opinion. I got idiots on the other side of the world. Uh, they write me that I'm a that I'm a Nazi or a racist or all kinds of fucking crazy uh, accusations. And, uh, well, I kind of decided to clarify the whole stuff because um, I don't want all this all these speculations to uh, to they will create a truth of its own and it will not be in my favor, I guess. So. Uh, I kind of decided to speak openly about this topic. Kind of decided to speak openly about this topic. Um, first of all, after the shows that we play, I'm just a musician, and after the shows where we play, we go on the photo with uh, hundreds of hundreds of people, you know, and then uh, some people. Uh, show me photos and they say like well what about this guy he's a, a Nazi guy other one guy is a right-wing guy and uh, so what what kind of shit argument is that you know I'm also on the photo with left-wing people you know if I'm on a photo with a left-wing guy does that mean I'm a left-wing guy too if I'm on the photo with a Muslim am I a Muslim then if I'm on the photo with a homosexual am I a homosexual to them so what the fuck is that argument I'm not gonna uh, Clara, yeah, I'm not gonna apologize for it, man. I go on a photo with whoever, and uh, I mean, if I go, everybody has something, you know. This has nothing to do with rock and roll. What the fuck is that all about? I'm just a musician, and uh, if that's your only argument that you have, well, that's uh, my uh, reaction to it. Let's see what else. Uh, yeah, if you join. If you join the skinhead subculture, there will always be people. Um, you know, when you shave your head, when you wear boots and braces, uh, they will have uh, an opinion about you, you know. And uh, you know that from the beginning. If that's a problem, you should not join this skinhead subculture. As simple as that. Some people still do, and they wear all kinds of badges, uh, apologizing badges that say, like, hey, uh, I'm against racism, I'm against. Uh, fascists and whatever but uh, I don't I don't if you have problem with my clothing you know fuck you then uh, these are my clothes why do I wear them because I like wearing those clothes you know why do you wear your clothes because you like them right well that's uh, also my uh, opinion on that one I'm not gonna clarify uh, to anybody I think uh, if somebody comes at you and ask you, uh, are you Nazi? I think it's a very, very rude question to uh, to ask somebody you don't know. And don't expect me to answer your fucking question uh, like a good bitch, you know. I, I say, fuck you, uh, I don't know you. It's a very rude question and you're lucky that I don't punch you, you know. Uh, it's a shit question which I refuse to answer. <clears throat> and... Uh, why do I have to put uh, I hate racism on my jacket, you know? Every normal human being is against racism. I think also everybody knows that I'm not a racist. But the problem is that I say to left-wing extremists, fuck you. Because, uh, yes, of course, I hate Nazis, but I hate left-wing extremists as well. And maybe even more. You know why? Because constantly you're accusing me of, uh, of being a racist, you know? Well, you don't, you know, I'm not. Instead of standing up, instead of standing up, say like, I, I know Tim, uh, yeah, yeah, you can think what you want, but he's definitely not a racist, blah, blah, no. Instead of that, you stay away from me, because what may the other people think if they see you with him? Well, it's like, um, fuck you then, you know, I'd rather get rid of you than have you with me, you know. It's, it's like that, I don't uh, apologize uh, for what I am, you know, this is who I am and this is what I do. I'm just a musician, I just play music. All this fucking bullshit has nothing to do with rock, with rock and roll. It's nothing to do with rock and roll. Then the other thing is, um, when you beat somebody up, 
uh, for having different opinion. That guy's Nazi. Boom, you punch him. Well, you're a fascist yourself, you know. You're a fascist, just fascist yourself because we live in a really small, small uh, subculture. And once you leave that venue, uh, everybody thinks different than you. You want to beat everybody that thinks different than you, you know. Then uh, it's sometimes I'm surprised that I have to say these things. These things. Because it's like kindergarten a little bit, you know, you have to shut up a little bit and accept people for, for what they are. Of course, you know, when people wear swastika or white power, yeah, okay, get them the fuck out of here, get them the fuck out of here, you know, but that never happens. It's not about that. It's when somebody wears a motorhead shirt with some uh, iron cross on it, he's a Nazi, Nazi, and they, they, they won't let you in the fucking venue. What the fuck is that all about? Huh? Hmm? When people wear like a hammer and a sickle, or a, a Che Guevara shirt, that, that's all fucking cool. No, that's also fucking extreme political, you know. And um, I th I also think, I speak for 90% of the people, I think uh, nobody's waiting for these politics. It's a really small group that's very active, a very active small group. Uh, they don't give a fuck about rock and roll. They just uh, are into politics, you know. <clears throat> Yeah, and it's the same thing, like, if uh, some people <clears throat> say to me, like, uh, last time in the news, there were, like, uh, some skinheads, uh, they were uh, being violent, and they beat up people, uh, and they look just like you. Oh, yeah? Is that a fact? Well, uh, last week, there were also some people uh, in white shirt and tie, uh, being also very violent on the streets. Are we going to hunt down everybody in a suit and tie? You know? It's not okay to, uh, to discriminate somebody for uh, his skin color or uh, where he's from. But is it okay to discriminate somebody for the way they dress? You know? Hmm? I mean, I have no... Uh, I don't apologize. I have nothing to talk about to people that don't... Uh, that judge a book by its cover. I have nothing to say to these people. Nothing. Um, the other thing is also when you beat somebody up for, for you know left wing extremists if, if you beat up a Nazi do you really believe that that guy will stop being a Nazi hmm? do you really believe that no of course not the guy's gonna be more violent and you know uh, I don't know this this whole shit will solve nothing will only make things worse and uh, that's basically it Another thing is also when people are uh, proud of uh, of where they're from. If people are patriots, they they love their country, and they're also being labeled as a racist. You know, I'm gonna tell you what racism is. Racism is when you discriminate somebody uh, based on his skin color or based on where the person is from. You know, from your heritage. Um, for me. Uh, that's the only thing that racism is. All the other things, it's not racism. But now you put everything is being uh, put in this right wing corner. And of course, when you have, uh, when you shave your head, you wear a bomber jacket. When you're a skinhead, you have nothing to say because everything you say is already being categorized as uh, as Nazi or right wing. But for me, I just want to clarify. I don't want to have nothing to do with this extremism. And I will say, fuck you to Nazis and I will say fuck you to Antifa as well you can suck my dick too uh, I don't negotiate with extremists you know and also all this stuff has nothing to do with right wing and left wing it's just a couple of fucking extremists uh, being fucking assholes you know and I don't negotiate with these people I don't apologize we don't apologize to nobody and um, do what it what you want have a nice day everybody we want to apologize.